Hi again. So today is the 16th of October 2024. And two days ago, Eric gave us picture in picture in Moblin. What we didn't realize is it wasn't just a wireless RTMP feed, as he had said. It's all wireless mode, so RTMP, SRT, SRTLA. It's just not the physical cameras of the iPhone. But the other thing we also got was screen recording as a picture in picture. And that's a game changer on a single phone. Little Burmy. So I am using a DJI Osmo Action 4 that uh, is connected wirelessly via RTMP with Moblin. That's uh, the main camera. And uh, I then have a screen recording or screen uh, sharing that um, where I play Pokemon Go. The map overlay is from real-time IRL um, that is controlled directly inside Moblin also. My microphone is an Instamic Pro Plus C. Um, that's a um, Uh, that's connected via Bluetooth with the iPhone. Let me just revive my world and my chandelure. Okay, and give that one. That's good. And then we can try and do this one. And we'll take this guy on. Let me explain. If I go in here and I go to scenes now and we have the widgets down here and we call this the pip screen done and we say that's a video source and the video source is screen capture. So the problem that is with the screen captures when Moblin goes into the background all the phone cameras will be frozen but I can take a DJI Osmo action and add a scene for that so we create a scene done and we will use the Osmo action 4 as our camera so I have that here, we turn that on. Okay. Go out of scenes, settings. Now, DJI devices, Osmo Action 4, start live stream. Connected. Perfect. So now we go to the OA4 pip. So, um, much, much later, uh, I have a couple settings that you should be putting in place at this point. And that is you'll um, go into streams, you go into your stream, and much importantly, you enable background streaming. That you can see that at the bottom that has to be enabled. Because if you don't enable, enable background streaming, uh, Moblin will drop your RTMP and your screen recording every time you put it to the background. That's the first thing to do. The other thing you should do before you do all these settings that I go through uh, shortly, you should start your stream. So you should go live. And the reason for that is that obviously the, the, the background streaming feature is only active when your stream is live. If your stream isn't live, every time you exit Moblin, it will drop the screen recording and it will drop the RTMP connection to the DJI camera. So do those things before you start setting anything up and you won't have any hassle. Okay, so the next step then is we go back in here, go into scenes, go into the Osmo Action 4 scene. Widgets, pip screen. 
So that still does give us nothing right now because there is no screen recording running. So we go into the main screen. Go in here. Start screen recording. Moblin. Start broadcast. That's running. Back into Moblin. So what we have there now is we have a screen. Now we go into scenes. No action for screen and we go go up and then we take the width the height I bring this to the top here all the way and then we increase the height okay and we now have our pip and what I'll do is I go out and I'll start Pokemon Go okay and then we move you over to the resulting feed. So this is the resulting outcome of the stream, what the viewer sees. Um, and it's all done with one iPhone and one DJI Osmo Action 4. Nothing else works perfectly great, makes for a very small package. Next example is where I mount the iPhone in a holder on a, wind, on a windscreen of a car and DJI Osmo Action 4 pointing forward showing basically the windscreen and what's around the car. Let's roll that. The weather turned nasty. It was not great, but to start. Is that better? So there will be a delay on the DJI cam because that's a wireless connection and the main camera is for my iPhone so both those those two will not be in sync but uh, overall it should be a pretty good experience I thought I had you connected as a... Uh... So because that's the iPhone camera, if I now go out, this will gonna freeze, but you still see the RTM P, P feed, I think. Um... Let's go into settings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's a six to seven delay. Six, so there's a six to seven seconds delay between the uh, the DJI Osmo Action 4 and the uh, Apple feed. That's something you sort of need to get used a bit, but I think it's not too bad as long as the um, the main camera and uh, the audio feed are in I hope this helps. Um, hope the video was interesting. If so, give us a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in another one. Bye.